Well, what's going on, folks? Thank you once again for tuning in with me to another edition of the True Capitalist Style Let's Plays. And as always, I am your host, the Man Imitating Ghost. And once again, folks, I want to thank you for tuning in with me. And before we get started, ask anyone, please share the video. Go to the social networks, go to the blogs, go to the forums, and spread it around like wildfire. Anyway... If you've noticed some things are a little bit different from last time, it's because I kind of lost the save, because Black Mesa, it, it got corrupted for some stupid reason. I actually had to reinstall it twice. But thankfully, I didn't have to do very much. All I had to do was freaking restart the chapter, so I didn't lose that much. And I guess it doesn't really matter that much anyway, since Gordon lost all of his shit. So there's not much room for deviation except for this past part, you know what I mean? Uh, thankfully, between videos, I did figure out that I was supposed to hit that switch to go forward, and apparently, I guess I'm supposed to go this way. So let's see what awaits us in this hellhole of a game. Yeah, you know what I mean. I don't mean that in an insulting way, I just mean that in a, in a sense that the environments are, are a hellhole. You know what I mean, you know what I mean. Am, am I supposed to be able to jump up here or what? Or I'm supposed to go down there. I, I, I didn't know if that was going to insta-kill me or not. It's kind of hard to tell. But whatever, I guess I got to go this way, so we're going to go this way. The loading screen means you're going the right way. Into my tub. Oh my. I think this joke is getting old. Man, if I ever make a reel of these, the ones that I actually kept, it's going to be so funny. I'm sure you guys will get a kick out of that. All right, moving on. It's conveyor belt madness. Man, it's like Frantic Factory from Donkey Kong 64. Any of you familiar with that? It's kind of like that. Oh, even more conveyor. How convenient. Oh, crap. It's crusher ceilings, damn it. Well, at least they go in a sequence. Shit. But apparently not enough that it avoids crushing your ass. What the hell? Good thing it auto save there. I mean, it's a good thing that this that unlike unlike Doom, I don't so much have to worry about saving all the time because it does it for me. If you know what I mean. Okay, I got to be careful. Damn it! How, how the hell am I supposed to get past there? What the hell? Is there is there some kind of secret to doing this? Because I got no clue what the hell I'm doing. I'm already lost. I'm already freaking lost. Damn it. All right, is there some secret way? Moving parts without guards in place. Warning, keep off, whatever. I guess I gotta be fast. Well, I guess that's the secret. You, you can't sneak around, you gotta go fast. You gotta move it, move it, move it. You gotta rush your ass before you lose your ass. Or something, I don't know, I don't really know what I'm saying. I'm assuming I have to get I have to get off on this one. Yeah, those red lights sure are inspiring, ain't they? Aren't those red lights just so calming? They're just so inspiring. Doesn't signify danger in the freaking slightest. But at least there are these convenient conveyor belts here. Every time I'm about to fall into danger, at least there's another one of these always handy for me to jump onto, for Christ's sake. I guess I'm supposed to jump off here or something. And to avoid fall damage, it might be prerogative if I go down an unfinished ladder and then hurt myself anyway. Whatever this this game. This freaking game, man. I know I, I shouldn't be, be blaming the game so much, but it seems like every time I play a game, this, this is what happens. They're not so straightforward. I guess that's not, not, not really a bad thing. It's entertaining to watch. Or I hope it's entertaining for you people to watch. I mean, for me, it's frustrating, but I'm pretty sure you people are getting a la getting a little chuckle out of my frustration, for Christ's sake. Because that is the essence of comedy, or whatever bullshit I'm trying to say here. 97%. Well, that's pretty good. That's almost full. Too bad it isn't full, but, you know, three points. That's pretty damn good. I wonder what's over here. Is there any... Ah, oh, great. It's one of you assholes. Come to ruin my picnic yet again. Good. One shot kill. That's what I want to see. I don't want to waste these bullets. 
I'd like to not waste bullets as much as physically possible, if you know what I mean. And I'd like for my recorder to not screw up on me. It's already warning me of high encoding or some stupid crap. It doesn't appear to be skipping frames, though, so that's good. Okay, there's a blue thing there. I think it, I think that's the bomb. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I didn't see that bomb there before. So I'm assuming this is new. I can only make that assumption. Or not. I have no clue where I'm going. I'm probably going around in circles. Yep, I'm going around in circles. Why the hell wasn't that bomb there the first time then? Did it did it just arm when I left it? That didn't make any sense. That didn't even make the the, the slightest bit of sense. It made you think that it was new. Ah crap. Well, that wasn't good. That was a stupid move on my part. My bad. My bad. At least it auto-saved, I guess. What the hell's in there? I guess I'm supposed to go in there. I'm just gonna make a calculated assumption that I'm gonna go I'm supposed to go in here. Okay, here we go. That opened, I guess. What the hell? Oh, I see. I see where you're driving at. I'm supposed to move this over like all those other freaking puzzles. There we go. Come on. Now I just gotta jump across without dying. Which is probably easier said than done, for Christ's sake. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Show me the money. At least I can go through that cable. There we go. Okay, we're doing good. We're, we are back on track. Back on track is where I want to be because, you know, aim it. Come on. There we go. Freaking to toasting my ass. We got scorched ass for Christ's sake. We got scorched ass. Well, enough of that. Time to move on for Christ's sake. Okay, I guess I gotta jump off here. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes where the game actually wants you to freaking go. But in any case, I wonder what the deal is with that G-Man guy anyway. I mean, I, I know he's he's supposed to be something unhuman. He's supposed to be like a god or something. I, I played through both of the episodes. I haven't played Lost Coast yet. Well, maybe I'll do a Let's Play of it. If anyone wants to see me do a Let's Play of Lost Coast, maybe I'll do it. I mean, I don't I don't want to do episodes one and two because I did that already. And that wouldn't really be fair to do a Let's Play of because I already know what's going to happen. If you know what I mean. So, I'd rather just Let's Play something I haven't already played before. I guess I was going the wrong way. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. I guess I'm just being stupid again. As always. And now I gotta get my I get I get to have my ass blasted off again. Even more this time. Holy crap. At least I didn't lose that much health. Good freaking thing. Am I supposed to go down there? It's got a bomb, so I guess that means I'm supposed to go down there. And I'm supposed to trigger the bomb so that I don't blow it up on myself, which apparently I did. Apparently that was still too freaking close. Come on, is this far enough? Okay, good. That one was far enough away that it didn't kill me. Or it didn't damage me. The last one didn't kill me either. Right, that one's moving. I'm assuming that means if I don't get off, it's going to kill me. Yep, there we go. Come on. Am I su- where, Okay, where am I supposed to go now? Am I supposed to try to get up there? I'm guessing- Yeah. Okay. I guess not. No, wait. Oh, oh, great. Th this is the platforming part. This is the part. Shit! Shit! Okay, sh sh screw you, alarm. Get get off. Get out of here. Damn it. Did I just screw that up? Did I, did I screw that up? Where am I supposed to go now? Where the frick am I supposed to go now? Why is this platform even here? Just to mock me? Is that the way it's... Is that how it's going down? Oh, it's it's a flooded room, so at least it won't hurt me. I mean, it's not like landing in water ever hurts you. But anyway, I guess I gotta do that all over again. Uh, for the freaking time. Alright, BRB, I gotta get back there. Somehow. You know what? Screw this noise. I'm just gonna use an autosave. It's probably a lot faster anyway. Probably a hell of a lot faster. Okay, we blow up that, and then we go in here, and this time we try not to get blown up like a jag off. At least that one didn't hurt me. But that one did. Holy crap. Okay, gotta run for it. 
I just gotta run for it. I guess. Okay, I'm doing a lot better now. That is much better than it was before. I just have to not worry about running into the blades and just freaking do it. Just do it! Eh, follow your dreams! Meh! You know, all that good shallow LaBeouf bull crap. Huh. That didn't give me much. I guess something is better than nothing, but still. I guess someone was using it before me or something. I'm gonna assume those doors are locked and that it wants me to go here. I mean, I've been playing this long enough that I can pretty much guess where it wants me to go. This looks familiar. This is starting to look familiar. I don't want to have to deal with these assholes because my ammo is a little limited. I mean, I barely even have any of my weapons back. The hell was I even supposed to come here? Was I even supposed to come here? Oh. Probably supposed to go there. The hell? Okay. That, that helps a little with my ammo situation, but... Okay, here we go. Loading screen has... That, that took longer than I expected, I will admit. That loading screen took a bit longer than I thought it would. This must be a pretty hefty area, for Christ's sake. I knew those assholes were still alive. Now, screw you. These things are so freaking annoying. They, they don't do that much damage, but they kind of screw up with your vision, as you can see. It, it's kind of hard to get a lock on them, because they screw up your aim. Prevent back injury, bend knees to lift. Oh, thank you for the advice, you piece of crap. Okay, I guess I'm supposed to turn the circuitry off or something, otherwise my ass is going to get zapped the second I try to open that door. And I don't want to get fried, for Christ's sake. Damn it. I did not say to go back down that ladder. That was a false indictment. Thank you for noticing this new notice. You're noticing it has been noted and will be reported to the authorities. Yeah, well, you know what? Screw you. Here's what I think of your notice. Here's what I think of your freaking notice, you asshole. Yeah. There's what I think of your freaking notice. You can take that and shove it up your ass. But, now where am I supposed to go? Is there something I'm supposed to do here? This kind of looks like a jumping puzzle. Yep, looks like a jumping puzzle. That's what I'm going to assume. I'm, I'm going to go with that assumption. That is the operative thing to assume here, I'm assuming. Because that's the only thing I can assume in this presumptive world of ours. That this is a jumping puzzle, presumably. So I must assume that this is an assumption that I am making here. Although, it might be better if I wasn't such a stupid jagoff who doesn't even know how to jump. That might be better. I'm gonna try that again. You know what? I know I'm onto something here. There's nothing else I can really do in this room. So I'm gonna quit acting like Mojo freaking Jojo and just actually do it. Just do it! Come on. It's hard to get on these things because... Damn it! Piece of crap, man. You have to get on these tiny little inclines and then it's so easy to fall off them. The hell. This is a piece of crap. I guess this is where the game really starts to dick you over. Yeah, you've graduated from mild dickatry. Now they can do senior dickatry. Okay. At least I got the high ground. That won't be for long, but hey, you never know. I'm guessing I'm supposed to crawl on that pipe or something. Is that, is that box able to be shot? I mean, I don't want to risk it just in case. I don't want to waste my ammo. Let's see if I can actually jump there. Actually, I'm going to save because I don't want to have to go through this crap over and over again. You know, like that. I don't want to have to do this several times just to figure out what's what. I don't want to do all that crap again. Okay, I, I'm guessing it's not really possible to just jump on it. Maybe there's some way over here. Hang on. Maybe there's something I can do over here. Oh, okay then. I can jump normally over here. Or not. Or freaking not. You know, whatever way you want to freaking roll, that's f fine by me, you asshole. Am I supposed to do something with that box over there? Okay, it is possible to break it. But is it possible to break it without falling over? That's the, the key question here. The million dollar question that's all, all, all of our minds. Is it possible to break without falling over? Come on. Good. It is possible. Now that it's out of the freaking way, I can actually go on there. 
or attempt to. Come on, where's the space that you can actually stand up on? Damn it! I still managed to not nail the landing. I didn't want to. I didn't want to run to that lighting enclosure because I thought it was solid for some reason. And apparently it is solid. What the hell? What the hell am I supposed to do then? See, that's the problem. I get I get so easily confused. I get so worked up on this crap. Wait, I could have just did this this whole time. Those pipes extended this far. I am a freaking idiot. I am a great A moron, for Christ's sake. As you can see, I'm a freaking moron. I am a freaking moron. But whatever. Okay, so... Yeah, that's how you turn it off. It was on this side. Oh, look, a wrench. Maybe I can beat someone on the head over it. You know, if my crowbar ever stopped working. Which it's not. It's not going to stop working anytime soon. Because it's made of pure metal. It's not like some delicate little thing. It can handle a pretty hefty amount of punishment, so... You know, whatever. Chapter title. What the hell? Oh yeah, I think this looks familiar. I think this is where you get that, that energy weapon. This definitely looks familiar. Yep, that thing definitely looks familiar. The mutant thing. Jeez, what the hell have they been experimenting on? I'm almost, I'm almost beginning to think that the military intervention, that there may be a reason for it, that, that they're not just being dicks, that they're not just assholes, that maybe there, there was a legitimate reason, like there was something big that these scientists were trying to cover up or something. Of course, I'm just speculating. I'm just, guess, it's just my opinion. What the hell? Wait, did I just kill it? Is that what just happened? Okay, whatever. This is kind of weird. Although the environment is starting to look familiar because it, it kind of looks like the labs. Well, except those big doors, but most of this look kind of looks like the labs in the first chapter, like near the beginning of the game. Oh, you pieces of crap. Yeah, I think turning the flashlight on is causing some strain, which is more noticeable in OBS than the game itself. But... Yeah, as long as I don't use, I don't need to use it that often. I only need to use it for those freaking head crabs. Okay, with door release. Push to fire. What the hell? Let's see what that is. What to fire? What? What'd you just fire? Oh, I can't wait to see this. Ha <laughs> ha! Torched his ass, baby. Let's see th this. BMOS application has stopped responding. Freeze, press escape, press enter, blah, blah, blah. You know what? I'm going to press this button. This is the button that I choose to press. I choose to press the crowbar button. You can't even read that. It's too low res. Let's see. Uh, Superbus via incent. What the hell? What is that? Some kind of satanic language? Appears to have only significant... Development of the prefrontal cortex and 110 increase in general brain captivity, but unusual neuron, blah, 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 blah. What the hell? What the hell are these people doing here? Wear protection, uh, handle material, do not ingest, whatever. I'm going to eat whatever I want. I'm going to drink whatever I want. And I'm going to middle finger whatever I want, you stupid asshole. So if you're going to tell me what to do, you know, shove it up your ass. I'm going to eat whatever I want to. If I want to take some random beaker on the floor, on the on the friggin' lab tables and drink it, you know that's my business. That's my problem. You ain't gonna tell me what to do, you asshole. I don't listen to people who tell me what to do. Uh, that's the women's bathroom. What the hell? Okay, I guess. I guess there's a reason for that. Okay, now this this is starting to get weird. This. Yeah, that almost looked like the area from the beginning of the game, but it's it's also way different. Okay, this is a lounge area. Holy crap, they've got a much better lounge area than the one that I was in. Okay, here's a guard. Hey, what the hell? Hey, buddy. What? It ain't no good up there. It's all sealed off. The only way out would be to find someone with scanner access who can open the front door. Okay. I'm pretty sure there's a few scientists hiding out somewhere in the lab. Maybe with the both of us looking, we can track them down and get them to let us out of here. Whatever, you fruit bowl. If they don't let us out, I've got a crowbar that I can shove 
right up their throat. I'll knock their, if they don't help us, I'll knock their teeth so far down their freaking throat that they'll be able to taste their own corn. They'll be able to taste the corn, for Christ's sake. Yeah, what the hell's this? A soft drink? A pizza? Ah, give me some of that. Yeah, give me some of that. Let me, let me eat some of that. I want some pizza, for Christ's sake. Come on. Come on, you bastard. Let me slice the pizza up. The hell's this pizza made out of? Freaking cardboard? Freaking drywall? Is that what you feed your employees, you sick bastard? Okay, here's that again. The Alpine Hue, the Rutia Grape, the Coca-Cola Bola, whatever that is. What is that? Ebola or something? Damn it. The recording is, is screwing up. I just noticed. Yeah, out of the corner of my eye, I noticed it on screen. It, it was skipping frames for a second. Don't know why the hell it was doing that, so I had to stop myself just to prevent it from skipping too much. Uh, thankfully, I didn't actually leave the area yet. That would have been really bad. But in any case, let's see if I can actually find something in this freaking hellhole. Okay, uh, blah, blah, blah. So, um... Uh, I don't know if, if I told you about the moon level that I was making for a capitalist chaos. My current idea was to sort of freaking do electron microscope images, just just Google search it and whatever I find, whatever looks cool enough, whatever looks alien enough, I'll just pretty much use. Because, believe it or not, if you put insects or just your hair or something under a microscope, it looks really beastly and alienistic, so I figure I can use that for design ideas. My original intention was to make like an alien city so they're intelligent, but I'm thinking it might be a little bit better if I just have it be a hostile alien planet. You know, something like uh, Metroid, where the moon is just inhabited by hostile alien creatures that don't really have any kind of brain. They just attack wildly, if that makes any sense. Ah, crap. I'm going right back where I came from. I'm, I'm so distracted. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, follow me, you asshole. Make yourself useful for something. I mean, I got a gun, too. If you can't prove yourself useful, then just give me your freaking ammo. Okay. You still following me? Good. Oh, great. I think I saw this. I freaking saw this kind of... I saw this intro. I saw this menu screen. This looks familiar. This definitely looks familiar. Okay, I guess we're no longer hiding. Okay, can I at least get a machine gun back? I really hope those were the assholes that knocked me out, because I want to enjoy this. Actually, you know what? Screw it. I hope they aren't the ones who knocked me out, because I want to I wanna torture the crap out of them. I just want to have my fun with them. I know that sounded dirty, that sounded sexual, but that's that was not my intention. If you took that sexually, that's on you. Then you're the pervert, not me. Ah, sweet, I got my machine gun back. Or I should say, I got their machine gun back, wink, wink. <laughs> Woo! Double helix DNA thing. Whatever. Okay, come on. Show yourself, you asshole. There you are. Do I have any grenades? Of course not. Freaking fantastic. Thank you very much. I'm glad you think so. Shut up. Okay, I got up. I gotta charge up because I need some armor. I need to need to allow this to give me some shields for Christ's sake because my ammo seems to drop way too fast. I'm guessing that's the front door. Holy crap, it was that easy. Unfortunately, I still need someone with an approved scan line. Hey, is it possible to tear out a scientist's eyeballs and then just sort of use them? I mean, Fiona carried around an eyeball in her freaking pocket on Tales from the Borderlands, I hope. That's not really a spoiler, that's just a minor detail. But yeah, she was carrying around a freaking eyeball, and even the character she was with, I'm pretty sure that would be a spoiler, even the character she was with said it was weird. She said it was the weirdest thing she ever saw. Ah, uh, you piece of crap. Oh, these things give me the heebie-jeebies. Oh, they piss me off, so... Not far from that. But I'm not a pansy ass. They don't freak me out. They just piss me off. Emergency Tesla Watch discharge. Critters, Doc. What? Okay, you deal with them. I'll just figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do here. <clears throat> My apologies. My throat is a little bit rough right now. 
I guess it's the it's the voice. Whatever you do it. Come in here. I don't want the test fire to kill you too. Come on. Let's see what this does. Let's see what this freaking does, for Christ's sake. And I don't want you to be caught in the blast. Look at this. Freaking look at this. Is that awesome or what? Admit it, that is cool. Yeah, way, Doc. You're not gonna comment on that? You pansy ass. Okay, uh, <clears throat> I think that's the main scientist and Barney, Dr. Cleveland or whatever. I don't really care to remember his name. I only remember Barney. I only know his name because it's like Barney Rubble or something. <laughs> hey, you, <friend. laughs> you know, kind of like that crap. Oh, great. They knew about the tentacles. They knew about that crap. Are you kidding me? Oh, you little assholes. These assholes are really freaking annoying. Okay, uh, hey, can I just grab this guy and use him? Can I just use him for Christ's sake? I mean, I guess that would make things a little too easy, but still, I kind of like, I would kind of like to make things a little too easy. At this point, I just want to end the game. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Yep. More, more enemy soldiers that I gotta kill. Yeah, you can go screw yourself. That'd be great. Oh, I got my shotgun back. Holy crap. Yeah, th this definitely is about reintroducing you to all your weapons. So, there's that. Oh, there you are. Thought you were Sorry, freaking lost. I thought you lost. You got lost for a second there. You s freaking moron, you silly bastard. Yeah, that's what you think. That's what you think. No son of hostels. Yeah, that's what you think, baby. <laughs> Woo! There are no sign of hostels anymore because I just ended them. Okay, are there enemies in here that need to be killed? Well, there's a there's an exploding thing. We should get going soon. Shut up! I'm having fun here. If you try to ruin my fun, I'll blast your ass. You piece of crap. Don't you tell me what to freaking do. Don't you tell me what the frick to do. You tell me to hurry up, I'm gonna start wasting my time. I'm gonna start taking my time. Yeah, if we don't get if we don't get to the Tesla cannon, it's this asshole's fault. That's my position on that. It's his freaking fault. You don't tell me what the frick to do on my own freaking let's play. Damn it, I'm going around in circles. I don't need I don't need to walk around in circles. I don't need to walk around in circles. I, I forgot. If I say I don't want to sing it because I don't want to. I won't risk anything. Get out of your way, kid. Man, it, it loops around for Christ's sake. Am I just supposed to fire off all those Tesla cannons? Is that something I was supposed to do? Because I mean, I was kind of just doing it for fun, but I mean, if you have to do it, I mean, whatever. But where the hell am I supposed to go now? What the hell? the hell are you fighting? Oh, great. The mutants are alive. They're freaking alive. Look at that freaking ass thing. Wait, they're security guards. They're mutated security guards. What the hell? What the hell's going on around here? This is just getting freaky. Very freaky. Very fast. I don't think I even want to know what the hell's been going on around here. I'm pretty sure that would be an affront to my sanity for all this freaking crap. But where the hell am I supposed to go now? Where the hell am I supposed to go now? I'm guessing I'm supposed to go over there, but how do I get over there? Oh, probably like this. Probably like this. Crap. It's fr it's frigid. Oh, it's not damaging me, I guess. Uh, so that's good. Okay, now that was... That was not blood toxin, or was it? I thought it was just freezing me. Yeah, it had cold damage to the health, so what are you talking about toxin? Yeah, screw you. I don't know what you said, but I guess I agree with it. If, if you were saying something about their bastards, then yeah, I freaking agree. What the hell is going on here? What well, kind of... Damned. I think we just found our scientists. Good. I'm gonna... I'm gonna threaten them. Hey, assholes! Damn it! Ah, frick! Damn it! What did I tell you, bastards? 
about messing with a man when he's trying to heal himself. That is just straight up dickery. Don't these zombies have any sense of etiquette of not attacking a man when he's trying to heal himself? Because that, that is a number one way to get on my shit list right there. Hey, buddy. Buddies. You gonna notice me? I guess not. Th these assholes aren't even looking at me for Christ's sake. I guess I gotta go up and around and all around, and I'm guessing the loading screen means I'm going in the right spot. I do believe so. Oh, my. <clears throat> hey, Ghost. Hey, Ghost. Hey, Ghost. It's me, Trisha. I'm not so good at this voice because I'm not naturally a fruit bowl. Well, that, that kind of killed me. That kind of killed my voice a little, for Christ's sake. I probably shouldn't have done that. Okay, just die already. Just freaking die already. Oh, sweet. You're killing them for me. Damn it. But they're also trying to kill me. Damn it. That did not feel good. Not good at all. Okay, I think this is where... Yeah, I get the Tesla cannon at some point. Just shut up. Just go straight to hell. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. In fact, don't collect any dollars. What the hell? They're, they're trying to freaking talk to each other. What the hell are you people saying? What just happened? Did, did I just get blown up by a mine or something? I don't know what the hell just happened. But apparently there was a bomb right there. Nope, nope, nope. I'm not even gonna go near that. That freaking ass thing. It's a trap! It's a trap! And I'm trying to be arc bar, but I, I, get, I don't know how well that's actually working. This actually looks familiar. What's this? Extremely high voltage? Well, I don't need safety gloves because I'm Homer Simp! That was pretty morbid. I mean, I won't lie. For a, for a comedian kind of thing, that was pretty morbid. Test fire. Well, I guess I can't do it if the power's off. What the hell was I thinking? I better put that back in for now. I just want to see what happens when you test fire. Was that a nuke? Was that a freaking nuke? What the hell did they just put in my inventory? Okay, I'm guessing that's ammo for the, the Tesla. What, was I supposed to get it already? I don't get it. I mean, I don't see it anywhere. Unless that's supposed to be freaking it. Is that supposed to be it? Okay, just fire test fire it or something the hell okay where is this leading me to does it lead me in here or what I don't get any of this crap I don't understand okay damn it get out of my way you asshole shut up just shut up Okay, is that is that something I'm supposed to do? I, I don't even have any idea if I'm supposed to unplug that or not. Shut the hell up. It's bad enough that you gun me down, but you won't stop yapping about it. That, that's probably the worst part. Okay. I guess I'm supposed to shoot all the lasers or something. They're supposed to line up or I don't I don't know how it works. I don't know how it freaking works. So I'm supposed to find Two more of those, I guess. I'm, make, I'm making an assumption. Okay, auxiliary one. Auxiliary two. Primary. Where the hell are two and three? Two and three have got to be somewhere. Okay, there's three. Oh, you, you, you all can just screw yourself. Damn it. Go to hell. Go to freaking hell. That's all I, that's all I got to say. Go to freaking hell freaking assholes okay so that that's that's a thing I guess that lasers on now where's the second one apparently all that's left is auxiliary two or in my case the last one I'm just gonna call it the last one 15 percent yeah good for you I wish it was a hundred percent the hell is that that looks like the hammer editor is this what this freaking map looks like in the hammer editor well, that is pretty cool, I will admit. It's pretty cool seeing just how compli complex it is. I mean, you can look around already and see that it's pretty complicated, but, you know, seeing it in line polygonal form is pretty damn cool. Assuming that was the intention. Okay, where's, uh, 
Oh, Auxiliary 2 is right here. Oh, here we go! <laughs> Woo! This is the laser weapon I was talking about. This is the one that you were supposed to get. I guess I was supposed to get it the second I climbed into here or something. Oh yeah, the music's picking up, baby. Oh yeah, now we're getting somewhere. Now let's see what this babe, this bad boy can really do. Let's go to primary. I just gotta get to it. Okay, I wonder what happens. I wonder what freaking happens. Okay, I guess I gotta fire. Oh, I see. It's like a BFG, for Christ's sake. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. What the hell? Is it picking up steam? Whoa, holy crap, that is pretty damn cool. Ensure shield is powered before firing laser. Oh, I, I get it. That was supposed to be charging the shield so that it wouldn't blow a hole through the wall. But I guess the, the whole point is that you're supposed to have it blow a hole in the wall so that you can go through. That was pretty cool. I guess this is another one of those episodes where I get to end off with a bang. Sorry to leave it like this, but... Thank you for tuning in with me. Now remember, spread it around like wildfire, and I'll see you next time. Capitalize on life. I'm out, baby. <laughs> Woo! You've been watching True Capitalist Let's Plays. The thoughts, ideas, comments, and opinions of the host of this episode are absolutely his.